So what we do first is we actually uh, use a bit of uh, anti-silicon, or what's known as, known as degreaser, along with a, a finishing pad, or again, what's known as red scotch bright in the trade. And we condition the surface of the, of the area that we're going to cover with Raptor. So it's literally easy as that, using a bit of the degreaser, and it just helps abrade and key the surface. Right. Right. Gently like that. And this would be the same, same process if we're keying up a bit of checker plate or plastic or even direct to metal. Again, just gently across the surface. So, we've got some bespoke panel wipe cloth here, which is lint free, but you can use uh, an old t shirt or a kitchen roll or something like that. So what we do is we put a little bit of a degreaser on this bit and we've got another dry bit here so we wipe, wipe on and then we wipe the excess off. So we wipe that on, like so, turn that way. So if you have any if you have any rusty spots any rusty damaged areas that may, may, may be on there, you'd need to rub that out and use a little bit of um, rust preventer or rust inhibitor such as uh, a Genonite or something of that nature you can quite easily get from a, a local DIY store. Many of them about. So now you can see the surface has been abraded and dulled. Okay, and that's, that's ready, that's all ready and nicely to go for that time. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to process a, a rear bumper from a, a Discovery uh, 90 series and the wheel arch, plastic wheel arch. So when we're doing this we've obviously got our Raptor, black, uh, our hardener to go, go with it. We've got some Grip 4 which is adhesion promoter and we've also got some Acid 8 to, these are for, to condition the surfaces whether we're working with metal or plastics. Over here, because we're going to do two different processes, we're actually going to apply some Raptor with the stone chip gun, gun one, and then we're also going to apply some Raptor by roller on the wheel arch, on the plastic wheel arch, which is a normal general household gloss roller. So, so what we've got here, we've got the Defender, uh, Defender 90 wheel arch, plastic wheel arch, soft. So we're going to take a conditioning surface uh, pad which is red and we're actually gonna braid the surface like this to give it a key like that small bit of degreaser onto the cloth And this is this is removing all grease and dirt and any contaminations that may be left on the surface. So we we'll wipe that down through there like that. We we'll take our dry bit of cloth and we we'll remove remove what's left. So what we have here is another two U pole products. One is Grip 4, which is an adhesion promoter. This is an all-round surface adhesion promoter. This can be used on uh, plastics, um, metals, um, and, and original paintwork. And the Acid 8, Acid 8 Primer, is for areas that have broken through into the bare metal, and where we would, we would place a little bit of the etch primer over the bare metal before, before applying the Raptor. Both these products are very simple and just very easy to apply one light coat and that should be sufficient. So first of all, I'll give the, uh, the wheel arch, the plastic wheel arch, a, a little condition with the adhesion promoter. Uh, it's one light little coat, like that. And that will now need to be left for around about 10 minutes. And then the second one, the acid ink, this is to be covered over bare metal surfaces. This is to ensure uh, that the maximising the adhesion over onto the metal 
and also anti-corrosive purposes as well. Put this down. One bit there. So what we're going to do now, we're going to mix, mix the Raptor. This is Black Raptor. This is a brand new bottle. So the actual Raptor in here is actually filled up to 750 mil, so it's around about here. So we take the lid, remove the lid, sorry, put that away. This is the hardener to go with it, and it's a three to one, it's three to one mix. However, on the bottle here, you'll see this ridge that runs around the top. The top ridge there, we can actually use that as our guideline for pouring the, the, uh, the Raptor hardener. And that's now, the hardener I've now filled up to that line now. We just place the lid back on the top. So we filled it. Now we shake it, give it a shake for about two minutes. Okay, so our bottle's now, uh, all the Raptor in there, it should now be nicely mixed up. And what we're gonna do with this, as I said, we're gonna process this in two ways. So I'm gonna pour some Raptor into a roller tray, like that. Put that over there. I'm gonna take my standard little roller, and you're probably gonna wonder why I'm using a big roller tray rather than the small roller tray, and I'll show you. First of all, we soak the roller in the Raptor, and get it all in there. And then what I, what I do is actually roll it out like this, and actually get the Raptor impregnated nicely into the sponge. In this way, now you can see it's nicely impregnated into the sponge and I haven't got excess Raptor across the top. So this will stop it sliding across the, uh, across the material that you're, that you're covering. If you only had the small tray, you'd just be doing this and you'd only end up with actually saturating half the roller. So this way we can actually get a good saturation of the sponge. Now we're going to go and apply it onto the notch. So, got our wheel arch, take my roller, and we just gently roll her like so. And then we just pick that up. Roll that in. And there we go. So here we go for the second coat. I can now touch that and we're now not getting any any raptor left on my fingers. Nice and uh, flashed off. So here we go with the second coat. Again, soaking the roller. Taking away the most of the excess off, and away we go again. There we are. Like that, a little bit more. A bit more on there. Oh, a bit much. Do the last motion that we put our second coat on just to make sure that that's nice and even so we get a nice even texture around there and we haven't got any little roller marks going this way and going that way just get it like that one pass like that one just on that outside lip there and one just on the in Side lip there, and then we have it. So you have now one nice coated, slightly textured plastic wheel arch covered in Raptor. So for doing our TD90 uh, Defender bumper, this uh, this this time we're going to use the stone chip, uh, the stone chip application gum. So we've got our bottle that we mixed earlier. We take the lid off, take our stone chip gum, and it goes straight onto the top. And there we go, and we're ready to go. Okay. So, obviously we're gonna need a compressor uh, to, to use this particular piece of equipment. The airline that we've got running through here 
um, will we'll read about six bar, which is about 90 psi. Um, and this is this is a, a normal process, and this was what I would do to put the first coat on. Okay, so away we go. We've got our gun. Nice and even, keeping it around about 400 mil distance. So again, what we we'll do is we we'll leave this again for about half an hour uh, to flash off. So what we should be able to do is when we come back, we should be able to gently touch it, and I can turn. I should be able to turn my hand over, and there shouldn't be any black. As whereas well if I touch that now, I'm getting that on my finger. So when I come back in a minute or in half an hour, we should be touching this, and my finger should be as clean as that. When that's when that is like that, that should be about ready to go to put our second coat on. Again, what we're going to do, we're just going to just touch the surface here. Yeah, I'm not damaging the Raptor and I'm not getting any material left on my fingers. And this has been, this has been left for about half an hour. So away we go with the second coat. On this particular one, uh, I'm literally going to leave the air pressure as the same as it was previously, but you can adjust the air pressure and the distance away from where and how you're applying it, which can give you different, different textures. So away we go, second coat. finished applying a Raptor on both uh, the wheel arch and the, the rear bumper here. This will be, uh, you should be able to touch dry and, and handle it uh, gently after about an hour. Uh, it will be dry to handle to be able to put back on the vehicle after about 12 hours and if it was that you was going to do it in an area that would be uh, in a workload area in the in the back of a, a pickup or something like that where it was having logs or being walked on quite heavily then we're looking at about three to five days before before uh, before you would put that into a work process so again just quickly this will be about 12 hours and then you'll be ready to go